guys, we're an adventure with Nick and Rachel and we bring you the best places to hike and explore in the southeast and more. So if you're into that kind of thing, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more of our adventures. Today we're in Florida and we are doing Itchituckney Springs State Park. We're going to do two trails here and see two springs. So stick around because we're going to hop in the springs and tell you all about it. So it's good to get to the trails early, but when you're the first one on, you hit every spider web in the world. <laughs> you just broke the stick. I'm catching everything because I'm taller than her. So there's a ray of light coming through right there, and there's a huge spider web. You see that one over there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at it. It's crazy. That's perfect. It is, really. It's a nice one. looks like an old nurse log tree and for people who don't know what a nurse log is what is a nurse log um so it is a dead tree that falls in the forest and since um other trees and plants are like vying for space to grow um like some seeds will fall on um, the nurse log and as it's decomposing they'll get nutrients and things from it and they'll grow up out of that nurse log so basically a dead tree would have been laying through here that tree that's growing would have been a seedling inside of that tree that fell on it and it just used that tree to grow and then what's left once it's decomposed is a hole we talked about that in our hall of moss video yeah. so if you haven't seen that video from the olympic national park check it out it's pretty cool there's like trees in there that are three four hundred foot tall that are nurse logs and i think they're massive Well, we were at Blue Hole, um, a family showed up and they started swimming so we decided just to give them some privacy and I wanted to tell you a little bit about Blue Hole. So it's one of five springs that feeds the Itchituckney River and it pumps 67 million gallons of water a day. Um, the depth of the cave is like 580 feet um, and it's kind of like, it was originally called the jug because it's shaped like a jug so kind of rounded at the bottom and then like tapers off and the water comes out of that tapered off part into um, the spring kind of like pond area um, but they said that one is best for like experienced swimmers and divers um, that's a place that divers can go down and go into the cave uh, which is pretty cool but it's a beautiful spring it's very natural and we've got another one we're gonna check out and go swimming we are now on the trestle point loop trail it's 0.75 miles and along this trail, we'll see the point where they had the trestle bridge. We'll see uh, where they have the, still the limestone there that supported that trestle bridge. And that bridge was used back in the early 1900s um, for the railroad for the phosphate industry. Um, but along this trail, you can get into the Itchituckney River, go canoeing, kayaking. You can rent the like kayaks right there. Um, but this is a 0.75 mile loop. So this area was part of the El Camino Rill, which was in the 1600 Spanish Florida's Royal Road that connected St. Augustine to Tallahassee, so northern Florida. I don't know if you can see that right there, but it's some type of leech and I just pulled it off my leg. <laughs> so, you gotta watch out. I'm out here in flip-flops and I guess I kicked it up off the ground like standing on the, the trail or whatever so watch out for leeches too look at that thing going nuts so this is trestle point if you look across right there that is like the limestone where the trestle connected over the river um, during the phosphate industry in the early like 1900s do you hear that noise so there's like fish like hopping out of the water and getting food there's like a whole school of fish right here oh my gosh look it jumped Mm -hmm. They're just like flinging themselves out of the water. It is beautiful <laughs> right here. I like the water flowing. Did you see it? The fishes. They're <laughs> just hopping out. It's so cool. But this is like a beautiful spot. You definitely got to come out here and check this point out. Does anybody know a mommy? 
So what do you think about this one as far as like, I like this one better. being pretty and everything, yeah. not as crowded? Yeah. This is like maybe like things. number three that I've been to, like on my top three. I like Juniper Springs is probably one of my favorites so far. You like this one better than Juniper? Hmm. Well, after hiking, I know those fish are really cool. I, after hiking in those trails and sweating to death and getting leeches on my leg, this is a very welcomed experience. I asked the dude and he said it was 27 foot deep. So it's crazy, it's so clear. It looks like it's only a few foot deep, but it's really, really deep over there. It's pretty cool, they're all snorkeling, going down as deep as they can and pulling themselves like over and through the logs and stuff. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was Itchitugby Springs State Park. It was gorgeous. Like both of the springs that we saw were beautiful. Um, the river running uh, past the spring. Got to see the fish jumping out, everything, and a really nice cool off swim. It stays a nice 72 degrees all year long. It's the perfect place to come and cool off in the summer. Just have like a good time. You can rent paddle boards or kayaks, canoes, go tubing. It's really awesome. So the next time you're in Florida, definitely check out Itchitutney Springs State Park. Thank you guys for joining us. Please make sure to like and follow so you can come back for more. We look forward to seeing you on our next adventure.